brain, I'm sure there was a lot of ways that this fight could have played out, but in your head, did you envision that it would end anything like how it did? You know, the funniest thing is, so I told my team like a week ago when Jorge Masubla had the fastest knockout, I'm like, damn, he messed up my idea. <laughs> but <laughs> no, of course, I, I, I honestly believed, and, and, and that's what my team also believed, that, you know, Espen is young, very hungry. She was very dangerous, but we knew she never felt the power that I was going to bring to her. And, I mean, it's only a dream scenario when you hit somebody that clean uh, with the first punch. Did you know that, it w I know we, we ask this a lot of times, you know, were you sure that it was over? Was it an early stoppage? But when you saw that and she kind of just stayed on all fours, did you feel that it was done at that point? Did you think that you were going to have to hit her a couple more times? Because you went in for the one to try to do it, but Herb was already kind of already in there stopping it. You know, the thing is, the referee stops the fight, you know, and uh, I understand that the audience, you know, might not agree, but it was a clean, clean shot. I landed another one just because she was on her knees and I was, I, I, Herb was on his way to step in, so I landed another one. If, the, if he didn't step in, the fight was going to get stopped anyways because I was going to jump on top of her and finish the fight from there. You know what I'm saying? So I believe it was a good stoppage. Uh, it was a clean shot. It's not. I mean, she dropped. All, she turned uh, 360 degrees the other side when I hit her. So it was a clean shot. You had a moment right after the fight where you walked over and you said some things to her. I was trying to read your lips, but can you kind of tell us <laughs> what you were telling her at that moment? I told her she's the future. You know, I just told her, please, please keep your head up. You know, you're the future. You will come back stronger than ever before. It was an honor for me to fight her. If she one day wants to do it again, we can always do it again. I, and I told her, I know, I understand this sucks. I've been in her position, you know. I've lost fights that I didn't want to lose, but I lost, you know. And especially in your home city, your state, you know, it sucks, man. But I told her, please keep your head up. You're a true warrior. That's what I told her. And I thanked her. And I know kind of we talked a little bit beforehand, we were kind of saying this was maybe a title eliminator bout. So have you, have you heard anything? Have you said anything <laughs> to Dana? I mean, did you, are you, are you calling for the champ right away? I mean, what, what No, next? I haven't talked to Dana. I don't know what's next yet. You know, I mean, I did a lot of interviews so far, but I, I haven't talked. I, I just want to hug my team at this point. I don't know, man, and I don't care. I know uh, the champ wants to defend her t uh, 145 belt. I completely understand and respect that, I, you know, so, and I'm not going to wait, so as soon as I feel ready to go again, I mean, I'm, I'm ready, I, I cannot say I'm not ready after 16 seconds, that sucks, right? <laughs> no, you know, I'm ready to go, I'm going to go on a nice vacation, and then, you know, I'm ready to go. I, I heard the UC is going to New Zealand, I love traveling, my team loves traveling, so uh, if Amanda's going to fight and defend her 45 bell first, I say, let's go to New Zealand. And fight before that. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to sit and wait for, for a title fight. You know, I'm not, if Amanda decides, you know, she just got out of the fight. If she decides, you know, I'm going to stay, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to sit it out for a couple months. Hey, I respect that. She's right. She should do that. But I'm not going to wait. I'm here to fight. I'm 35 years old. Like I said before, it's now or never.